So for the past 20 plus years, we've been having this Thanksgiving outreach to the community. When I first got here 20 years ago, it all started with Minister Matrilene Johnson and Ron Johnson, who had the vision to feed the community. It has gone from feeding 100 people to a little over 3,000 people. Uh, normally, it takes us longer, much longer. Today, we started 45 minutes later, but yet we finished two hours earlier. How do we do that? Except by the grace of God. Giving back, you know, doing something with purpose, doing something with, with bringing value, uh, and, and, you know, helping those who may not be as fortunate as you are. You know, and being able to, to be a, an example of something better than what is status quo. It's just better just to give things out, man, just to help people, because there are people who are less fortunate and uh, people are grateful for it. Uh, it's the time people coming together, everybody working together to do something bigger than themselves, so that's a great feeling. We take so many things for granted that it's good for us to stop often and just give thanks to the Lord for all of his goodness to us. It's a real blessing to be able to be part of something that's blessing other people. That's, that's what's special for us. Yeah. This is unprecedented times, and so we want to be as active as we possibly can to let the community know that we're here. It's just serving the underserved and the underprivileged. If you can't be around family, you know, just for COVID restrictions and precautions, that at least we can provide a home-cooked meal made with love. We sit in a food desert, which means that this community does not have proper access to fresh fruits and vegetables and really things to gather for a healthy meal. The nearest grocery store is a couple of miles away and the convenience stores that are around here just don't necessarily have the fresh fruits and vegetables needed for a particular meal. So during Thanksgiving, it's a wonderful time to bring great healthy meals to our community. It was so much fun, it really was. At my table, there was always a critique of the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and so when I said that I don't cook, but I would practice for next year, they said, I don't need to cook, I just need to critique. <laughs> I coordinate the uh, carry out and delivery orders for um, our Thanksgiving dinner, and I've been doing it for 10 years. Getting organized, getting the routes together, making sure we have drivers, making sure we have the food, making sure the phone calls have been returned, and making sure we've got everybody organized you know, and working together and the meals are ready by a certain time. What I enjoy the most is just knowing that we are helping other people, we are partnering with other organizations and ministries to help people and we were able to feed over 3,000. We could not have done this during a pandemic if it hadn't been for those who did what they did because we had to try to stay as least people as possible in order to get it done. I love Long Branch, um, the camaraderie, um, just being able to work together hand in hand with people that you may or may not know, but you just mesh well together and we're accomplishing a greater good. Our 23rd annual Thanksgiving Day dinner was out of this world. Pastor is not just preach on Sunday. He actually lived the word in First Lady Satriva. He gets in there hands on. Our leadership is what caused our fellowship to be where it is. It's Thanksgiving and we are eternally thankful what God has allowed us to accomplish on this day. I want to thank the community. I especially want to thank Minister Matrilene Johnson, Sarah Duckett, and all of the staff that helped with this event. The people that were seen today and the people that are behind the scenes that have been preparing for weeks just for this event. And then to countless drivers who are delivering over 2,500 meals to our community and for every person that has lent their time, their energy, but most of all their prayers. Listen, we're in the middle of a pandemic, but I believe it's our way to give a pandemic praise in order to thank God for all the great volunteers that he sent our way. Thank you.